Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Primal Edu World. In today's video, we will learn about word mail merge in simple steps. Mail merge consists of combining mail and letters and pre-addressed envelopes or mailing labels for mass mailings from a form letter. It is a powerful tool for writing a personalized letter or email to many people at the same time. This feature is usually employed in a word document which contains fixed text and variables which act as placeholders that are replaced by text from the data source word to word. Now let's have a look at the simple steps involved in mail merge. First, we need to create a main document and the template, which is a Word document. Next, we need to create a data source, which will be an Excel file containing all data. Then we need to define the merge fields in the main document. Merging the data with the main document is the next step. And finally, you have to save, export or print the document. This is our Word document. As you can see, this is a letter from a company to its customers about a particular subject. Here we have fields for recipient name, address, city and zip code, the data for which will be imported from our Excel file. Now this is our Excel data which is to be exported to the Word document. Here we have fields for first name, last name, address, email etc. As you can see, we have only 15 customers here. A company can have more than 1000 customers and mail merge makes it very easy and convenient to send communications to a large number of customers at the same time. Here also, you need to remember that the header row is to be defined. This is a very, very important step. Now let's go back to our Word document and start with the process of mail merge. So first we will click on the mailings tab here. Click on start mail merge. We have different options by which we can do this. We can create letters, email messages, envelopes, etc. We will select the step by step mail merge wizard. Next, we need to select recipients for our document. Again, we have three different options. Type a new list, use an existing list or choose from Outlook contacts. If you don't have a list, you can type a new list. So just open this tab and create your list and say ok. You can add as many customers or members as you want. So this is one way to create the list. Another way is to choose from Outlook contacts. If you already have contacts in your Outlook, you can simply import the contacts from there. Since we already have an Excel data, we will use our existing list. So click on this and select the document with your data. Here, since we have only one sheet, it will show sheet one. And the first row of data contains column headers should have a tick mark. Click on OK. Now you can see all the other tabs have been activated. Now, we will start with importing data from our Excel sheet. So first, highlight the recipient name and go to insert merge field. Here you can choose the format that you want. So we will add the first name and last name. So click on first name, insert, give a space after this. And go back to insert merge field and click on last name. Then highlight the address field, insert address. Similarly for city and zip code. Next, we need to insert a greeting line for our document. For this, click on preview results again and remove dear 
now here click on greeting line and select the format that you want to use so we will click on dear and the format for the name and a comma for the greeting line we will select none and say ok now let's check as you can see we have the address and the greeting line for our document now this is the document for the first customer if you click on the forward arrows it will give you details for all your 15 customers now this is one way to insert the address details for your customers another way to do this is by using the address block for this you need to click on the address block and select the format that you want to use and also check the match fields if they're matching or not and click on ok now we come to another important uh, aspect we have an option of edit recipient list this option helps us to select particular customers or sort customers based on the areas or cities uh, very easily you can simply untick the customers that you don't want to send the document to or suppose you don't want to send to customers from Pune sort on city and simply untick Pune now this will not send the documents to customers from Pune but it will send the documents to all the other customers and click on ok since we don't want to untick anybody we will get out of this now we come to the last part of our video which is finish and merge so when you click on this you have three different options the first is edit individual documents you click on this and select all here right now we have only one document in our word document if you select on all and say ok it will show you all the 15 pages in one word document if you scroll down you can see you have all the documents for all 15 customers the last option is send email messages when you click on this you need to make sure that email is selected and for the subject line add your subject and for the mail format html should be selected and also we need to make sure that our match fields uh, the email is matched with the field so here you can see email is matched once that is done and you select the number of records that you want to send the email to and click on ok your documents will be emailed to the customers immediately that's all for today's video hope you found this video useful if you like this video, do like and share, drop in a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for many more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.